Hey yo, damn that was 30 seconds. That launch music is kind of relaxing, I just wanted to use that as an intro. We're here. Damn, she looks dead inside. I mean, I got the tool right here. Look at the dead body. There we got Halcyon Helen, screenshot of the dead. And Dr. Goodnight, kissing her goodnight. With the nice relaxing music, let's talk to the boss here. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. Did you hear how the music just broke up? That kind of hurt my ears. Let's hear it. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. If it's any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also Ooh. discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer. But now I'm not so sure. Uh, you sure it wasn't just the hotel food? The thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach and testing for the presence of the same toxin. Slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring. But other than that, no. I'm certain it wasn't, as you put it, just the hotel food. You did what? No, perception, perception. When we're talking, you called her Ruth Bellamy, not Halcyon Helm. And we know that's her real name. Oh. oh, how curious. I do believe you're right. I wonder if this has something to do with the autopsy process. She was Halcyon Helen up until the moment I brought her to the operating table. But as soon as I cut her open... I stopped thinking of her as Halcyon Helen. It's almost as if she stopped being an icon and became a human being. Mm -hmm. That's pretty crisply dark. You're a freelancer of some repute. Surely you're no stranger to seeing the interior organs of a human being. <laughs> Although, I suspect you do most of your work with a gun and not a scalpel. Yes, I do. Anything else? Inspector. Doctor. Cool, let's leave. Ah, oh, Spencer it is then we need to talk to. Okay, that didn't hurt me. Spencer. Hello there, my inordinately... Oh, <laughs> you're the one who visited me. Hello again. Thanks so much for brightening my day. What authorized floor can I bring you to? Ah, oh, VIP guests. You see Black Hole Birdie. Be sure to get an autograph for me. Shh. Kinda of too, too little of the elevator music. It didn't give me enough, eh? Spencer, talk to me, man. Please, can't you see my heart is bursting at the seams? I absolutely must go out. A quote from the Sisty Cutlet. I voiced a Sisty Pig aware that it was going to be slaughtered. Ask me anything at all. I might even. Ah, I hear you. Were, you <laughs> I hear you were poisoned. Poisoned. Damn it! Why can't I pronounce that sentence? I hear you were poisoned there. Indeed, the agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Ah, oh, I talked to the chef again. I talked to him before. According to Corona, Helen was also poisoned. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Uh huh. Ah, <sighs> Helen wasn't killed by the poison. Oh, oh, that's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch. I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. 
Ah, oh, can you think of anyone other than the chef who would want to harm you? Everybody, actually. None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. Ah, oh, of course. Of course. Why didn't you go to the clinic for your stomach pains? Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. Oh. Very well, then. Oh, don't make me talk to him again. I need to eat. Better not. The hotel food day. Worst and Baines. Damn it. I'm already getting sleeping inside. What Sleepy. Would you like to visit? Inside the game. Oh, bring me to the lobby. To the lobby we go. To the lobby we go. Don't be you. Be a better you. Okay. I guess this is the mission where we talk to everybody. And everybody points me to another person. Hello again. No new reservations have opened up, unfortunately, so I can't make anything for you right now. You have a look that screams, I have something to ask you about. Well, please, ask away. I have no problem with questions. Why would I? Uh, the way Bernard said, did you prepare all of Helen's meals? Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Oh boy. Well, Helen's last meal was poisoned. Oh. Oh my law, this is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous, but I didn't heed her warnings. Okay, okay, I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen. As I was preparing Helen's meal, either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Oh, an idea where I might be able to find Bellhop Owens? Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. Let's not talk about the incident with the raptodon pheromone glands. No, I it's always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. Ah, what was Spencer Woolrich doing around the kitchen? Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. While I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolridge simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. Though, don't tell him I said as much. If you wish to speak with him, Mr. Woolridge can most likely be found in his... I was in there. Why were you being so evasive about leaving Helen's food unattended? Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? Damn it. Because you're hiding something, aha. Uh -huh. No, I don't think that's the case. Sorry to disappoint you. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, and consequently, I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. Oh. Oh, the bar's a little fan here, boy. Why should I believe anything that you're saying? I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. Constable Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. Oh. See ya. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. Hmm. The only thing I truly want to find is that green goddamn vodka. So I can get myself the special gun. Tell me you have it. Wait. Straight.
Okay, no more hotel music. Enough, enough of that. Even this vodka is brown. Bleh. Not even a green vodka here. I will not find it. Yeah, I'm cursed. I'm cursed. Mm. Mm. Okay. What's that? What's that food? The hell was the giga spray? Ugh. I can't see where I'm going. I'm going this direction. Helen's death was the worst. Get this gun, we can this gun. And this crappy thing. Holy! How the hell did he get? How did he get here? How did they get here? Giving me the chuckles, you not the chocos. <laughs> Never felt so damn good in my life. As all her limbs got shot off her body. Never felt so good in her life. All the limbs got shot off her body. To the spaceport. Hmm, could have taken a nap here. Let's see. Do they have any green vodka? <laughs> Not worth it. Inspector. Good to see you. Let me just grant you access and welcome to the Piraeus spaceport. Hmm. Huh. We got access. I need to get rid of that gun. Probably as soon as I get rid, I will need it. So let's not get rid of that gun immediately. I've got 360 healing items and I got half more of that in my space ship. Wherever it is, here. Nothing. Oh shit. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Let's load in, then I need to write. Hey, you! We've been looking for you, and by we, I mean slug. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Slug Light Underground don't like that much. He's trying so hard. It's actually kind of sad. Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. 
slug sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! Oh, I can actually intimidate someone. Oh, okay. She stared at the fork and hovering the weapon. What? Why ain't you doing nothing? You scared of us? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Cough. I'm sorry. We're sorry. Please don't hurt us. We're not bad people. We're just uh, confused. Oh. <sighs> You know what would be a bad apology? Tell me what's going on. Someone paid us to say we were slug and intimidate you. I don't know who, I swear it. They only ever sent notes. That's everything I know, honest. We were only gonna rough you up a little. You gotta believe me. And we're real sorry. Ah, get out of here. I uh, don't need to tell us twice. Uh, come on, all. Let's get the hell out of here. Even though that would be a funny fight, I would have switched right to the detective weapon. Oh, there's so much talking going on here. Oh, constable. The pretty wine toaster. Why does he have a symbol of his head? Greetings. Non criminally associated bureaucratic can... process. Please. I can't. Speak. No, I can't listen to this. Oh, did you say something about a spread infestation? Checking logs. Error. Limitation. Limit. No, no, no. S -s -s -s. All requests for security footage require a nominal compulsory bribe. Is that acceptable? Oh, hold still. I need to examine your bit processing on unit. Your bit processing unit work. Error. Wait. Bit processing unit has been removed. Temporarily surpassing bit fee request. Funds will be requested from Rizzo's leadership with interest at a later date. Delivering if you would. No, oh, just please, just, just no. Western music kicked in. Oh no, I'm not gonna do it through here. Is that keen? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Damn it, and I liked her. An aberration in the expected timeline for this organic being has occurred. Behold, the body of Maria Keen, formerly the constable of the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. No signs of life detected. Maria Keen is survived by no known relatives. Receptions. These are small wounds. She looks like she was shot in the head and neck. Excellent observation, Inspector. Multiple wounds located in the frontal bone and between the clavicles suggest she was facing away from her attacker. Furthermore, the location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. Again, I noticed something casing. I noticed some casings on the ground ammunition. These casings are too minuscule for conventional small caliber firearms. Each casing resembles a lancing needle used for medical and surgical purposes. Medical purposes? Amplifiers can help blood for toxins. High concentration of potassium chloride detected. Trace amounts of neurotoxin detected. Me oh wow, I have that. Potassium chloride. That would have stopped her heart. These substances show the highest concentration near the entry and exit wounds. Cardiac arrest, rather than physical trauma, is the most likely cause of death. Hmm. Make a note. Find whoever did this and make them pay. Your memo has been noted. This unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. Banter protocol activated. We'll find the Sprat Bastards responsible, Inspector. Orange tab, yo! I did great. Oh, they're teasing me. They're messing with me head. Oh, yeah. I'm just going through the stealing. Oopsie. And I said I wouldn't. Lovely. They're empty. Okay. I feel like it's high time to shoot someone. 
and I didn't do that so far. Alright, what the? This unit would implore you to confess to your crime of landing with an expired yeah. permit. Please. I can't. It hurts. Cassidy Mills. I'm a criminal, get it? They don't let me talk to law abiding sorts. If yeah. you ain't a constable, then we ain't got nothing to discuss. You have a name, so we're gonna have to talk to you. Visitate. Oh, okay, this looks like a big goddamn area. Mechanical. Kind of too peaceful here. And we need another sandwich. The sandwich meter filled up. There we go. Oh, too peaceful. Dry goods and sundry. Reminds me of Moreau's. Just a bit. Don't make a mess here, Pavati. Tell me you have the green stuff. Hello. Welcome to Aridino's Dry Goods and Sundry. The most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. Uh -huh. I'm Marketeer Joseph Dempsey, here to make your shopping experience as pleasant and normal as possible. This voice, the voice is back. Ah, tell me. No, he doesn't have it. Oh, he doesn't have it. Sealed. Oh God, what this way? Oh, shit. I like the music in here. Could I talk to you for a second? What a party. Haven't seen you around before, but that ain't no problem. All are welcome at the Copper Bottom Cantina, so long as their bits are good, huh? Can I get you something? Action. Oh, wait. I need to look for something green. <gasps> Yes! I got it. I got it. Okay, talk to me, then we're gonna get the gun. Hey there. Word around the spaceport is that you came in on the unreliable. You a new crewmate? Well, I'm Goo Pool, sorry to tell you, but half one's dead. The ship was left to me. I see. Well, this would have been easier with Hawthorne, but I hope that if you're flying his ship, it means you're a freelancer too. Wonder if you can help me. Oh, I'm listening. I run an outfit for the moving of uh, less than legal goods. There's a particular piece of cargo needs delivering to a particular individual in the spaceport. Thing is, I don't know where the cargo is right now. The crewmate who handles that is in the clink for getting a little too disorderly in town. We've already attracted too much attention. Too risky to visit her myself. That's where you come in. You help us out, I'll give you an equal cut of our pay. Yep. Okay, I mean, what do you need me to do? Great to hear. First, you need to go meet the crewmate who got herself jailed. Cassidy what? Mills is the name. She'll know where the cargo is. Ah, oh, sounds good. I'll get it going. Be seeing you. Remember, Cassidy's at the constabulary. I. Somehow, I don't think the freelancers and sublight agents are staying at the Grand Colonial. I don't feel like doing talking quests, stuff. Or do we gonna get some action and now I'm doing all the talking quests? But well, I got the queens. Okay. Don't think I know you. What do you want? You shall look. You look like a witcher, but a worn-out old witcher female with red and. Bl Black hair. Oh, I'm here for the job. Yeah. Don't think I don't recognize a slug agent when I see one. Shove off. Ah, I talked to Dash about your contraband situation. Would I know about it if I hadn't? Sakes alive. I warned him time and time again to take the proper precautions. It's a good thing he's a damn fine pilot, or he'd be too much trouble to carry around. Then again, 
I'm in prison and he's not, so I guess I'm the lead weight this time. What's the plan, anyway? Oh, I'm your mark for item retrieval. Tell me what you know and where I'm going. You're looking for cargo from our ship, the Rat King. Small package, wrapped in brown paper. It got moved to the shipping yard, but I'm not completely sure where. Off. Oh, let's see if I can find the quest. Kathleen Case. And then we're gonna do the other thing. Down. Maybe there's even something to shoot down here. Real busy. I wonder if they're trying to compete with the groundbreaker. Okay. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't do that. Look at that big ship. Disappointing. That's why. Huh? What was that? They got the drop on us. Damn it. I didn't think to hurt. I didn't think it hurt. They're on us. <laughs> I'm taking cover! Nice one! Oopsie. That might be bad for this quest and for this DLC. That no, might not be good at all here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, now we're good. We good. Do I give her that while she's in prison? You're back, I see. Hope the law hasn't caught on to what you're doing. <clears throat> law meaning authorities, that is, not the forces running the universe. Oh, I got the cargo. What's next? No complications. Grand. The recipient is Joseph Dempsey. He runs the Eridanos Dry Goods and Sundry. Okay. This that dude. Right in here. No complications. Mm -mm, not at all. Welcome back. Oh, I got a shipment of something for you. A shipment, you say? The only shipment I'm expecting is 100 pounds of saltuna a week from now. And I certainly don't expect it to be brought by an inspector. Ah, this isn't a standard delivery. These are quality goods, if you catch my meaning. I learn about secret codes in my off time. For fun. It's never anything that I actually need to use, mind. Ah, drop deck. You already know why I'm here. What do you want? What you want to know is what I've brought. Playing dumb didn't dissuade you, huh? You're pretty sharp. And correct. Mm. Follow me to the back. Okay, it's gonna be ending in a shootout. All right. So, as you can see, this actually ain't the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. Welcome to my black market. Whatever you're here for, weapons, information, contraband, cane and ointment, I've got it. Mm. Sorry for the frosty reception. Had to make sure you weren't with the constable. <laughs> but seeing how you're a freelancer, I hope I ain't got nothing to worry about. Oh, I suppose we have to say I'm um, definitely with the constable. I suppose we will. Thanks for the delivery. 
I'm waiting on my next black market shipment, but if you come by later, you'll have free access to pick up all the contraband you want. Here's your pay. Good doing business with you, especially seeing how you didn't take this to the constable. Would have been a mighty pain in my tail end. Let's see what he has. Going to onslaught. Bleh. That's all. The hell is that? A light machine gun. And a bat. I oh, will use your bat, sir. I'm actually tired as hell right now. 30 minutes. I'm gonna drink and get myself that goddamn gun. I want it. Where is it? There. There. Damn it. Ah. I shouldn't have equipped the quest. The hey. I wanted to make a long session of this game today, but I'm already feeling the sleep that I need. So I can keep on doing this. Digo. Give me my gun and I need another sandwich. And the music is killing my ears. Let's get uh, through that. No! Now we can test that gun. <laughs> get up here. The music isn't silencing itself. Seriously, game? Did you just see that and hear that? It just got more aggressive. Oh, there we go. Open case. Yes. The Spectrum Gatling. Captain, you just found a Rizzo's product I might actually like. Well, I might even let you shoot it. Mm, I need to upgrade it first. Ah, oh, I just had it in my hand. Ah, oh, there was an upgrade station somewhere in here. And I will have still a hard time finding it. Of course I will. But we will find it. Because I can't think of anything else nearby. We can test it, we got so much ammo. We can shoot our way through everything. Where well, was it, Pavadi? Damn it. Oh no. I'm not gonna find it. Here. Yeah. Tinker, there ain't no mods on that thing. No. Tinker, tinker, tinker. Damn, I got so much money, I actually could upgrade something that I couldn't upgrade in a long time. Like the pink slip. Holy hell. Let's pink slip it up. Two, 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 two. two. And then we need to find enemies to kill. That's the harder part of the game. Finding actually opponents. They're not to be found a lot of times. This bad boy better be good. Better be good. Mm. Ah, just water. Well done. Where are the enemies? Maybe the maze again? Why 
the hell is it so difficult to fight a goddamn enemy? Oh, interesting. Seems like a nail gun. Like a fully automatic nail gun. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Maybe. Am I running around them? Oh yeah. Okay, this is cool as hell. Come back. You come back here. Okay. I like this bad boy. Where those three clowns are on the outside. Just need to find out now. It's not that tough, right? Just the base. Just the maze. Oh, come on. Through here. Yes. Ah, oh, what's... To what... This gun reminds me to some gun that was a similar effect. I don't know from what game. Okay, now I'm in a good mood. Finally, some goddamn gun action. This game could use more enemies here, dear. To blast through. Wink. Before I lose my patience and just kill everybody. Everybody. I was here. Damn, I just want to shoot stuff. Ah, let's go back. I just want to shoot stuff. Oh, come on. They spawned me outside. Oh, no. My soup is probably already ready. Hmm. to make of sublight underground or you slug you i guess i can't shake the feeling they had something to do with ms helen's death oh, okay if you say so appointment appointment oh hello you need to speak with cedric yeah that's why you're here appointment appointment oh well, no, but I'd like to see Cedric regardless. No appointment? No talking to Mr. Kincannon. Yeah, what stops me? Can I make an appointment for right now? Hmm. Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. Ah. Oh. Inspector, is here to see Cedric, there will be no other outcome. Inspector, you said? Well, maybe he'll appreciate your blunt charms. Maybe not. We'll see what he has to say. Mr. Kincannon, got an inspector here demanding to see you. Want me to call the guards? No, thank you, Eileen. I've been expecting him. Send him up, please. Don't need to. I will find my way. Yo, Cedric. Ah, Inspector. Eileen is my right-hand woman and the finest assistant to ever grace this office. She is also tremendously skilled in causing physical harm. 
I recommend you do not insult her with any further attempts at intimidation. Now then, here for my alibi, I assume. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's see. That night I was Ah. Torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? Ah, oh, when you say break, is that? His spine, specifically. If you'd like to know the exact vertebrae, I'm afraid I don't know. I can tell you he's quite dead. Not that it matters much. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. He's the people champ, you see. Ah, oh. Come on, Cedric, I'm trying to clear you of a moira here. And I appreciate that, Inspector. The fact of the matter is, I know I didn't kill Helen, and I trust you fully and completely to find whoever did. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. That uh, you make a killing selling tickets for a funeral. That's not a good argument. Why, Inspector, that's terrible. Besides, given how long she was likely to live and continue working, the math doesn't work out. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. Ah. Uh, anything I should look into. You may very well want to. This particular trouble strikes me as not unrelated to your investigation. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. Oops. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. Before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. Oh. 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 How is any of this not unrelated to Helen's death, man? That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. Oh. I guess I can't guarantee that theft isn't related to the murder. I certainly wouldn't take that bet. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads, me scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I like to commit my own horrific bodily harm, thanks. Oh, I never subcontract out that type of work, Inspector. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, uh. I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Uh. Yeah, I'll take that. And your pistol. Hand cannon. Steel hand cannon. That's my Going. name on it. Shh. That's my name on it. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. They were where? Damn it. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. Ah, oh, short range transmission capabilities. The receiver must be somewhere nearby. You figured that out just by looking at it? Huh, we 
gotta talk shop one of these days. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. Smooth. Poor woolly cow impression transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. How long has this been here? Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. Oh, some in the dust. Taste the dust. Glad I resolved that. You have some unorthodox methods, Inspector. Summon the dust. 98.3% of the dust particles are less than 500 micrometers in diameter. Okay. This unit is glad to have been of service, Inspector. Examine the surrounding area. The area within a 0 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. It's not very dusty then. Must have been placed very recently. That is highly likely, Inspector. What's that you found? No, wait. Don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. And the last of fingerprints for the fingerprints belong to Cedric Kincannon. Ah. No shit. All right, all right, obviously. Ah, oh, that gun on the bottom looks special. Has it been customized? Confirmed. The grip has been modified for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. Oh, admiring my rifle. Had it custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. Oh, who was the woman? Inspector, to what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, the constable is dead. Constable Keene? Now that is a damn shame. Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? Ah. Uh. Spence, did you accidentally kill her? No. I played no role in the good constable's death. Well, somebody did. It seems murder is becoming an unsettling trend on Eridanos as of late. Thank you for informing me of Constable Keen's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. Maybe you should up your security. You're actually upset about this, huh? We may have been on opposite sides of the law on occasion, but we were not enemies. Perhaps it will shock you to hear her loss saddens me. Maria was a decent soul, and law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, in her dedication to the rules, but good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. Well, now you know. But let's discuss something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? Not just sleep. Just sleep. I will get that right after I eat my soup. Or so. Yeah. Peace out. I should save before I quit. Boop.